First time? No! God damn it! You saw it! You friggin' saw it! I got him down to one. Yeah! Oh, I hate everything! Hey guys, it's Parallax Abstraction, and welcome back to PXA Play Super Castlevania 4. Yeah, we're still here. I know, I know. Uh, I'm a little more caffeinated now. I'm actually recording this episode about an hour after I recorded the last one, uh, because I probably won't be, as I kind of talked about in that episode, due to the fact that Poulet and I will be prepping for Extra Life most of tomorrow, I will probably not have time to record an episode then. But this train's got to keep it rolling. So, I'm a little, yeah, I've had a big mug of coffee now, so hopefully maybe my reaction's a little better. No promises, we'll see. Um, I might even try to record another episode of this later today after I get back from a job interview, so, because I obviously won't be able to record on uh, Extra Life Day itself, but we'll see. I really don't want to be in a position where I have to spend, you know, half a dozen episodes stuck in the same level, but I don't know. It may come to that, because that is the way these games work. It's tricky to, to do games like this in a split-up Let's Play series. It, it's a little better in situations like Vinnyvania, because those episodes are like two hours, and they have multiple guys shooting the breeze while they're doing it, but uh, we'll see here. I'm a little more in the vibe of this now, I say, as my health is ticking down to dangerous levels. But I'm a, I'm a little more in, uh, in the, the vibe in that I remember the way these levels are put together uh, a little bit better now, so... Hopefully that will be something I can use to my advantage. I cannot faff up some of these jumps, and if the controller chooses to play nice with me today, that would also be just... It would just be a doll if it would do that. No, 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 no. And up! And up! Hey, up! Woo! Got! I... D I knew it! I knew, like, I knew what I was supposed to do there, and I still boned it. This, uh, hmm. Oh, man. Take out all my frustrations on these spiders. This is where you take out all your frustrations. Still have not watched any Bob Ross yet today because I know it's just gonna relax me and make me tired, and which is not what I need. I'm already tired enough leading up to this interview. Okay. Fine island drums as we wade through this gauntlet of pain and friggin' misery. I hate these eyeballs. I hate these eyeballs. Die already, you little bugger. Okay, now, this part's not too bad. Respawning enemies aside. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay. 
getting through this area now with very little health loss, which is a good thing. I tell you, if only these spikes, well, if either it ideally just bloody checkpointed here, but if these spikes just hurt you instead of insta-kill you, I would be probably long past this already. Yep. Yep. Alright, now. What? The mm, you that no! No, 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 no. You, 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 you clipped through that. You saw it. You son of a... Ugh. Simon, work with me, for God's sakes. Like, you sure... Surely he hates this as much as I do, right? Right? Yeah, I'm just cheesing out of this. I don't give a damn. God, why does this have to be like this? These games are at their best when they're combat platformers. When they're straight up platformers, they just kind of suck at it. Ugh. This is, this is achievable. Many people have beaten this game. People speed run this game. Like, this is a challenge. People overcome much greater challenges than this every single day. I can do it. At least the music in this area is like it's it's tense but it's also kind of chill you know you get these nice little island island rhythms in the background and and whatnot it's it's relatively it's it's not manic which i appreciate that would be way worse like i remember when vinnie did uh super castlevania 3 and the last level of that game which is utterly insane and uh, the music was like this super high tension, high pitched, uh, really, really just the kind of thing that puts you on edge. And I'm just like, if you're going to make people go through a gauntlet like that, at least make it not, not mean like that. Like, that's just cruel. But I'm kind of glad I'm doing these multiple episodes together because while there, as we've discussed before, there is value in sort of putting a game that's being difficult down for a little bit there's also a certain flow and vibe you get into and you don't want to be in a position where you have to sort of reacclimate yourself with that especially when you're doing only half hour episodes and it takes a while you know a good chunk of that half hour to get back into the vibe you want to kind of stay in the vibe as long as you can um, it makes it easier to hold on to what little momentum you have. There. I suppose I could go under those. For whatever reason, I kept thinking that I couldn't actually go under those, but I guess there's no real reason I couldn't. I presume those don't hurt you once they've fallen down. They do not. Okay. Darn. Thought I had that one again, but no. Eat axe, you dick piston. Ooh, wow, he dropped a double shot? That must be a really low spawn chance. I didn't know the enemies actually ever dropped those. I thought those were things you only ever found in the uh, hidden wall blocks. That's interesting. Good to know. I mean, it happens so infrequently, it's obviously not something you can count on in any meaningful way, but it's still neat that it's there. Now, one of the things I do remember is that we do have the bat that comes down and has a tendency to knock you off of here. So can I get him? Nope. I mean, I knew he was there, but... <sighs> well, that's fine. We're getting to the next area. There we go. We're in the next area with a full stock of lives, and we're halfway to the extra life. So we're in a better place. 
Not getting cocky. Don't read too much into that game. I'm not I'm not getting cocky. That's just me stating that things are going okay. Now, I want to see what this is. Is that literally just a heart? Is that all that is that all you get from that? Well, that is hyper lame. And yeah, you can't actually there's no way to kill this thing. I'm going to have to take a hit. That's really epically lame. Okay, you know what? Now I'm certain this controller's got Bluetooth sync problems because you see that you you, you guys saw that little bit there where I was uh, where I jumped and I was walking across that platform. I didn't tell it to do that. It actually just did it there again. Yeah, see yeah. See that that stairwell, the where he climbed up? I wasn't pressing anything when he did that. Yeah, when I'm pressing on certain directions, it's the movement is continuing after I let go of the stick. There is definitely a problem here. That's both frustrating and a little bit liberating because it's showing that not all of these deaths are my fault, but also not all of these deaths are my fault. So what do I do about it? I might have to try to either resync this controller or I might have to suck it up and move my Wii U to my desk. It might just be that at this range, the Wii U is just too far from the controller for it to work reliably. I suppose I could always just get the gamepad as well. I think maybe the gamepad has a better... Because I can sit at this distance from the TV with the gamepad and I never, like, have any stutters with the, the picture or anything, so... Maybe the gamepad has better range than the Pro Controller does. Yeah, it's really frustrating to think that there's even a possibility that I could have beaten this sooner if the controller was playing nice. Okay, well, we're, we got three lives left, and we are in the second zone. Uh, so, that's good. Like, we are, we checkpointed again, so... This is a good thing. Now, I do want this. You guys are still really bad at your jobs. Skeleton dudes. One, two, three. Ah, got him. That's a thousand points between those two uh, money bags. That's actually real good contribution towards getting an extra life sooner. Uh, that's a knife, I now remember. Oops. I ducked. I pressed the button. The controller didn't respond in time. Because I think you can duck under those, because we have before. I don't know if it's only certain ones or not, but I'm pretty sure you, you can duck under that. So, I'm not sure, but I, I am reasonably certain that's the case. Seven. So we're in a pretty good place score-wise here. Now I do want to trip the eyeball before I hit the candles. 17-9. Good. Ah, you stupid knife. Oh, well. Those things at least are irrelevant in the context of these. care about your hearts. Okay, now we got this thing, which I have yet to successfully get past. Let's get everything we can from up here. There's more money. Any wall stuff? No. 
please be, be the boss near here. Okay. I'm actually going to try to step off as far as I can here and have this reset. And there's spikes that fall down too, which I actually just discovered for the first time. I, wow. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Because you can't just run it like you sort of have to with the other spikes. Because if you run it, you, you, uh... If you run it, you won't make it because the platforms disappear randomly. So there, there's obviously a trick to that. I just, I, I don't know what it is. There obviously is a trick for it, though. All right, spare life. Whoa, that almost went bad. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get this. I'm feeling better, though. Like, knife. Damn it. Like, this still, this area still sucks to the... I knew that. I knew I shouldn't have done that. This area still sucks to the nth degree, don't get me wrong, but I'm feeling better about it than I was. actually interesting if I just sit up a little bit and don't hold my controller like against my desk which is the way I was doing it actually seems to respond better so if I sit back just a little bit hopefully this will overcome any response problems that we were having kind of obsessing over these money bags even though it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Okay, so I can crawl under these. The game really made it seem as though I couldn't, but okay, so you can crawl under those. Well, that's good to know. I really wish I... <laughs> I knew that before. I was under the impression that you couldn't, but you are literally like a pixel underneath. You just can't get any of the candles. If you go after the candles, you will get screwed. Well, I have zero qualms about giving up those candles, especially now that I've hit the extra lifeline. That means I can just focus on this secondary nightmare over here. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You saw that. I still don't know. I still don't know the pattern for that. Because, like I said, you've got to run lest you... If you want to avoid the, the spikes from the ceiling, you've got to run. But if you run, you're going to get boned by the random nature of those blocks. I just need to learn the trick. I just... I really have no idea what the trick is. Maybe it's just... The second you get to the, like, the second the bridge comes into view, and the second any of the, because the platforms don't seem to start their random patterns until they become visible on the screen, so maybe it's just the second you see that become visible, you've just got to, don't stop for nothing, you've just got to run. Maybe that's what I need, maybe that's the key. Now that I know I can handle the, uh, the, the, the ceiling spikes much more easily. I, I'm feeling much better now because even if I don't do it on this go round, I can do it on the next go. Uh, like now that I know I'd have, I don't have to worry about this at all. Okay. I'm feeling much better. And if I can figure out the pattern for this bridge, that won't matter either, because it's, as long as I know it for the future, it's, it, it's really... I learned nothing for the future there. Nothing at all. And we're back here. Oh, okay. 
This level really sucks. I really hope they don't get worse from here, but I'm almost certain that they do. At least one of them will be. I know Nathan Spruce said in the comments that this is apparently one of the worst levels, but yeah, I don't know. We got three left with who knows what those bosses are like and we, we you know we still have dracula himself to do i do remember elements of the dracula fight in this and the dracula fight in this game is is most certainly not easy but it is also mostly just remembering a pattern it, it's predominantly just pattern memorization i mean really that's what all these bosses are but his is a little more predictable than others they seem to have traded off the complexity of his pattern just for the fact that he does so much damage that he's rough in general. I hate having to do this area over and over again, but we've also got it pretty well down now, I'd say, right? I would say that's a pretty safe bet. I will say that if I if I can't get through uh, that bridge puzzle in this episode, I will look up a strategy for it. I don't want to keep you guys watching me do the same area over and over again, because that's just kind of boring and dumb. Um, I'm getting bad Bluetooth lag again. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep you guys just watching the same boring thing over and over again, so if I have to, I will just find the strategy so we're not spending a bazillion years on it. At was really stupid. I almost got myself killed there again. Yeah, there is still definitely some bad Bluetooth lag going on. Like, now it's no longer me using it as an excuse. Like, I'm talking, like, pressing the button and getting, like, a noticeable half-second delay in some cases. It's definitely... It's definitely here. I think I might just suck it up and, uh, before I record the next episode, just, uh, move the Wii U over, over to my desk. My girlfriend and I have uh, finished Yoshi's, Yoshi's Woolly World, so uh, I won't need it on the TV for a little while. Though I have barely touched Mario Maker since it came out, and I really should put some time into that. That actually would have been a good game to play for Extra Life if I... Uh... That actually would have been a good game to play for Extra Life if I was playing by myself. Now... It's funny, the first time I did this falling bridge, we got the bat that, that came down at you. Nope, still boned it. The first time I did this area, the very first time, I, I, I managed to, to outmaneuver him, and I have not pulled it off since. Alright, well, at least we're checkpointed. We got a full stock of lives, and once again, we're about halfway to an extra life. So there's that. A few Medusa heads, and I'm not going down there, because an unkillable enemy is not worth a single heart. At least I, I've gotten that down pretty good now. Oh, that's a wall chicken there, or a candle chicken. Oh, that's nice. All right. At least I've got that down. Okay. So we're at this area with a full stock of lives. That's good. 
Good, good. Doing better. Better, 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 better. In terms of dealing with the platforming, it doesn't really matter that I've got low health, right? So it's, uh, it's not an issue. That is a knife. I have found your secret. Your spikes can't hurt me. If you just designed them, measure twice, spike once, guys. If you just made it an inch longer, you would have had a near infallible trap, but you boned it up. Dracula will be very displeased with you. <gasps> we did it! Oh, and it's right before the boss. And we have a full stock of lives. Oh, hey, hey, uh, hey. Whoa! Uh, Frankenstein normally doesn't have multiples. Okay. Yeah, but you know what Frankenstein doesn't like? Boomerangs, motherfuckers. No. First time? No! God! Damn it! You saw it! You friggin' saw it! I got him down to one... Oh, I hate everything! Okay! Alright, Zen. Find your inner Bob Ross, Parallax. You bested the stupid bridge. You got to the boss. It was literally right there. You had him to one health. You know what he does. You know his attack. You can do this! You know what I'm almost thinking is that the the knife, this is one of those rare cases where the knife might actually be the better thing to use against him because the knife is so fast. Like the boomerang does, does twice as much damage in theory, but it's so slow that I don't know if it's actually as useful, especially when he splits like that, you know? I think this time I'm actually going to take this knife and try it. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh. The thing that's concerning to me is that I, I, I got past the bridge, but not through any kind of skill. It was just through dumb luck. So, like, I'm not confident I can do that a second time. If I was, I wouldn't be bothered, but... Yeah. Ugh. At least we're going to get another... We will get an extra life before we run out the stock. Wow, it really is to a certain degree just run it. Like just 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 run and you'll probably make it. Whoa, that's a very that's a different attack. Oh yeah, the knife doesn't do nearly as much damage as the whip though. Got him! Screw you! Screw spikes! We are done with mission eight! Boom! Oh my god! Thank the friggin' gaming gods! Oh. Well, this is probably a good place to call it an episode, I think, guys. Uh, I know we're just getting right into a new area here, but uh, we're at about half an hour. But you know what? Let's see how far we can get. Screw it. We'll make it a few minutes longer. Let's. Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. Oh, and my lag is back. Okay, I'm gonna sit back a little bit. 
Where'd you get the light? Is that a pile of gold I'm walking on? It is. Whoa. Where'd you get all where'd you get all the lights for your uh Oh my god. Where'd you get all the lights for those uh curtains, Dracula? It's looking downright fabulous up in here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bats in here. I'm going to get through one life here, and then we'll call it an episode. We're not going to run out all our lives, because we'll, we'll be here too long. Oh, yeah. No, this doesn't... Oh, and random platforms fall apart. This doesn't look any harder at all. No, no, no. No. It's quite the uh, funky tune we've got going, though. Oh, my... Wow. All right, well... We're in for a treat next time, guys, I think. Yeah, and look at the timer on this level. It's 650 seconds. That's over 10 minutes. So, uh, <laughs> brace yourselves. I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Oh, the ghosts keep going when you pause. Isn't that neat? All right. Well, thank you guys very much for watching and for sticking through that friggin' nightmare from before. If you liked what you saw here, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It does help me out a great deal. And, well... We'll dive back into this next time, and uh, hopefully I will suck less, but no promises. Take it easy, guys.